guys welcome to the video so we're gonna be doing our large peep today and I'm just gonna go over what's in your kit first so you have your canvas this is an 8 by 10 size you're gonna have your large peep cut out this guy is gonna go over here for tracing you have your paints which are over here and you are going to get two brushes in your kit as well so the first brush is a round brush we call this round because as you can see we have round bristles and it's generally just a round shape going on and then we have our flat brush you guys can see why we call it a flat brush right on the side here and that one is our flat brush so those are the two brushes that are going to come in your kit so let's go ahead and get started there are also some things that you're gonna need that are not in the kit. You're gonna want a glass of water, a jar of water, or a cup or a bowl, whatever you have on hand is great. And you're gonna also want to grab some paper towels. And this will be for wiping off your brush after you have washed it in the water, okay? So right now, what we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and trace with a pencil our large peep cutout onto your canvas. You wanna kinda center your peep. Make sure it's nice in the middle. And trace it lightly around. our cut out shape on there so first what you guys want to do is paint your peep
So while that bunny is drying, we're gonna go ahead and do the background. So in the original one, I had done something like confetti in the background, those little lines there. I'm gonna show you guys a variety of ways that you can take the background. So you can do the confetti, which is just dipping into all the different shades and kind of just putting, taking your brush this way and just going lengthwise. Just putting a bunch of different lines there. And you take it in multiple colors too, guys. Don't be afraid to, you know, do, do, do a bunch of different colors. Like I said, you know, blues. supposed to look like confetti or sprinkles. take your detail brush and do swirls. Just grab it and just do like little swirls. All different sizes, different colors. There's really no rules. You guys got to get creative. Whatever pattern that you want to do, do it. A couple of swirls there and all those different colors. To each other. Another option is lines, just having them go straight across. Continue on the other side. Take your flat brush and use this if you're gonna do the lines. Let's go straight across. Right before you reach, stop your bunny. And then go continue on the other side. Possibilities are endless, guys. Use your imaginations, creativity. You can also do a chevron stripe. Chevrons are basically zigzags. So what you'll be doing is going up, down, up again. Kind of just taking that, kind of like that zigzag shape. That's also a line option, very cool looking. This is like an Easter kind of painting. So think of things that you would put on an Easter egg. You can do polka dots. That's something you wanna do. Polka dots would be kind of cool. You 
but when you're doing the color, you wanna make sure you do all. So if you're dipping into the blue, do all the blue polka dots first, and then dip into the yellow, do all the yellow polka dots, and then dip into the pink and do all the pink polka dots. Once you guys have done your background and done whatever you wanted to do with your background, your peak should be fairly dry. And you remember, you wanna go ahead and kind of lightly touch if you think you need to, but if you kind of hold it up to the light and move it around, the wet paint is always gonna be kind of shiny. So that's how you're gonna know that that particular place is not dry yet. So if you want, you guys can go ahead and take maybe five minutes, kind of hang out and let your peep dry because we were gonna go back over it and we're gonna go ahead and give our peep some personality, okay? Okay guys, so once our peep is nice and dry on the inside, nice and dry, we're gonna go ahead and give our peep a personality or give it a face. So there were a couple options, as you guys can see on the um, Chillin' With My Peeps one. You guys can do something with sunglasses. This guy was kind of turned around, so I just made a little, little tail on the back. We can do a flower crown. If you guys want to look and see how to do the flower crown, that is in the Chillin' With My Peeps video. You can go ahead and fast forward to that one. Or you can put a little bow tie on him. I think I am going to go ahead and do glasses on my peep because I wear glasses. How many people wear glasses? I'm going to give it a little personality. So you're going to take your black and your detail brush and this is what we're going to do for our peep to give them some personality. So peeps just have two eyes and a nose. So you wanna put your nose down, follow that center right in the middle, and that's where you wanna kind of put your nose for your peep. And it's just a tiny little dot of a nose, right? So now I'm gonna do my glasses around those. You want to give it a rough outline of a circle.
So what you're gonna go do is thicken that back. You're gonna go back in and thicken that up. And then we want to give our eyes to our peep. And those are our peep glasses. And like I said, guys, if you want to see how to do some different styles, on the peeps you can just watch the family peeps video and you guys can see how to do the flower crown the bow tie and the sunglasses if you guys want to do sun peeps with sunglasses you can of course just fill those in as well but i wanted to give them some glasses i wear glasses What you kind of want to do glasses kind of have some scent sometimes they have a little shine on them if you want to go in with your white and give them a little bit of a shine a little bit of a highlight And that peep looks super awesome, but you are not finished. Finally, how's anybody gonna know that this is your painting and that you did this work? It is if you sign it. So you have to sign it. I usually sign mine, bottom right hand corner. You can pick any color you like. I'm gonna go in with the blue and you use your detail brush and you can write your whole name or you can just do your initials. I do my initials. And that is it. You guys have done an awesome peep painting. Good job, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed painting along with me. And I hope to see you again.